So I've made quite a few videos about the Steam Deck OLED and that's for good reason. I actually really do like this device. Just as a gaming device alone, it's already such great value. Of course it can get pretty expensive when you start buying a lot of games from Steam, but what's really awesome about it is if you had your old Steam games in your Steam library, if you've had Steam for the past few years, they will all just automatically be on the Steam Deck without you spending any extra cash. Whereas if you had to get a Nintendo Switch, you need to just start buying all these games from scratch, right? So that's one of the things that makes the Steam Deck just so amazing and just wow. But in this video, I wanna talk about the other things you can do with the Steam Deck besides just gaming. So there's a desktop mode right within Steam OS where you can just plug in a monitor, mouse and keyboard and you have a full-fledged computer that you can do all sorts of light tasks that you normally would do on an ordinary computer. So when you look at it from that perspective, the Steam Deck is such amazing value for the money. But I'm not so familiar with Linux, so I went ahead and just installed Windows right on the Steam Deck. And the way I did that was I used the micro SD card because I didn't want to get into the SSD and risk breaking it and all that. So I just installed Windows using Rufus on a separate device. And then all I had to do was just put it back into the Steam Deck and voila! Windows 11 is running great. And that's one of the awesome things about the Steam Deck is you can actually do stuff like install Windows on it without actually voiding the warranty. So uh, everything works except for sound and Bluetooth. But that's not a problem because you can have all these as external peripherals through USB. So with Bluetooth, you can just throw in a dongle and you'll have Bluetooth. And for sound, you can use a sound card such as this Evo 8 that I made a video about a couple of years ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link the video down below. So feel free to check it out. So a lot of people have been asking me, CB, why'd you stop making music? We wanna see more music content from you. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. The next day. <sighs> okay, so it's a new day. And the reason for that is because I had a bunch of issues yesterday. All the adapters that I was trying to connect to the Steam Deck just wouldn't work. So I didn't have any external mouse or keyboard support. I still could use the on-screen keyboard and the little, uh, you know, touchpad mouse thing, but that's pretty uncomfortable to use. I wanted to show the full desktop experience. So when I got home, I found one of my old little USB adapters. It's like a USB 3 adapter with uh, three additional ports. I needed that to connect the keyboard and the mouse. But then I also found a little Bluetooth adapter. So then I was able to have Bluetooth on the Steam Deck because yes, as of now, it doesn't really have Bluetooth. There's something you need to do in BIOS, but I didn't want to go through those complicated steps. I also installed all the drivers for the Evo 8 audio interface, and that's what we're going to be using here. It's working just fine. And plugged into the audio interface are the monitor speakers, headphones, uh, as well as the Antelope Edge Duo microphone. Okay, so due to limited time, I have like just a couple of hours in here. I'm gonna find a beat. I don't have time to make a beat and I also don't have enough like instruments to actually make an instrumental. But yeah, if that's something you wanna see, then let me know in the comments. But for today, we're gonna just be using like a bunch of free beats that I have and I'm gonna attempt to freestyle. Now disclaimer, I'm not very good at freestyling, so I might end up saying some mumble rap stuff or some stuff that doesn't make sense or some braggy stuff about cars and women and whatever. And I also might use a little bit of profanity, so I apologize in advance. Let's just call it art, okay? <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, find a, let's pick a beat real quick and I'm gonna just throw in some trash bars and let's go, let's do this, yeah. Okay, so here we are in Windows. Everything seems to be working fine, except for the internet for whatever reason, but we don't need the internet right now. So uh, let's take a listen to some of these beats. I like this one, but I think it's too hard. Yeah. That's the one, we're working on this one. So uh, let's open up FL Studio and let's get started. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna do one continuous freestyle. I'm gonna do it in parts. So yeah, let's let's give it a try. Let's go. Okay, okay so here I am in the booth. Uh, we're gonna start laying some bars on this beat. Let's just, let's get it, let's go. Okay, 
Take one. Yeah, we going for a million. Yeah, yeah. Best believe it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't kidding, man. Are you kidding, man? I don't. But I still. Blacky Chanda. Okay, let's try. I ain't kidding, man. Are you kidding, man? Yeah, I don't give in the realest, yeah. Uh, I've been on the low for way too long, we're getting <laughs> Got a lot of <laughs> around me trying to get with me, yeah. Going up, running to the guap, yeah. Can't slow me down. So we're like an hour and a half in, and I'm not even done with like half of the song. At this point, I don't know whether to call this a freestyle or not, but can you still call it a freestyle when it's in parts? I don't know. Let me know in this comment section. Yeah, they were sleeping, know me talking about they woke, yeah. Let's hear that. Yeah, Friday night is litty, yeah. I spice on my... Okay, I fucked up. Friday night is litty, yeah. Friday night is litty, yeah. Friday night is litty, yeah. What have I gotten myself into? Then I gotta switch it, yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, hey, hold on. We gotta hear that. Wait a minute, I ain't even finished going for a million. Hey, I ain't kidding, man. We going for a million. Hey, I ain't kidding, man. So it sounds pretty good so far, but I think it's missing some backup vocals. So let's do that right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna try to harmonize this part. Just look at my neck. Just look at my neck. Okay, like that, okay. My wrist, but I still, oh man, I don't know the lyrics. Let me learn the lyrics a little bit, okay? Okay, now I got it. Man, we going for a million, ay. I ain't kidding, man, we going for a million, ay. I ain't kidding, man. Woo! I think we got it. Okay, guys, so I think we've got some pretty good vocals for now. So we're gonna do a little bit of mix and a little bit of master on it and let's see what we, let's see how it sounds. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm currently using just four plugins, Auto-Tune Pro, Blockfish, that's a compressor. Um, we have Ambience, a demo version of Ambience, uh, that's for reverb and the equalizer, that's the built-in one from FL Studio, it's the uh, Fruity Parametric EQ2, so that's what I'm using. Yeah, so with three third-party plugins, the Steam Deck seems to be handling it like a champ, it's no problem, I've not, experienced a single hiccup okay so i just made a simple mix just for the video but yeah i'll ask my friend timek uh to do a like proper mix and we're actually gonna do it all on the steam deck and then i think i'm gonna put out the song on soundcloud or just on youtube music but yeah this is the mix that i'm gonna throw into the video so that it's you know a little more interesting and yeah we going for a million yeah yeah let's believe it i ain't, I ain't kidding man nah we ain't even kidding man we going for a million yeah yeah i ain't kidding man i'm going for a million yeah yeah i ain't kidding man are you kidding man yeah i don't give a body sending me yeah all these bitches on the gram just let them in yeah pulled up with no chopper but i still be Okay, so there you have it guys. That was our little experiment with uh, making music on the Steam Deck running Windows 11. I was uh, pleasantly surprised by how well it ran on the Steam Deck, especially considering that we're running Windows off of a micro SD card. And I felt that's where there was a little bottleneck. So the read and write speeds of the micro SD card are pretty decent, decent enough to run Windows and run all these applications. Of course I recorded at 44.1 kilohertz, so that's not very taxing on the CPU, 
but sometimes you might see apps take quite some time to open. So maybe next time we'll try running Windows off of a drive connected to the USB Type-C port and we'll see if that really makes much of a difference. And theoretically I think it should, so yeah. Tell me what you guys think about the song and if you liked it. Yeah, I'm soon gonna be uploading it to Spotify, I'm gonna get it properly mixed and mastered by my friend Timex, so stay tuned for that. So there you have it guys, that was our little experiment of making music on the Steam Deck running Windows 11. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. My name is CB and see you guys next time. Peace.